Okay, in this video, we're going to discuss two main topics. Number one, setting up the Developers tab ribbon in the Microsoft Excel environment. And number two, setting up a very simple macro. Number one, we're going to right click the Quick Access Toolbar. And we're going to go on and select Customize Quick Access Toolbar. And the popular section, there's going to be a checkbox which says Show Developers tab in the ribbon. We're going to want to have that check marked and go on and select OK. A new tab has been added into the Microsoft Excel environment, which is going to give us a convenient way to access the Visual Basic environment, macros, macro security, and other controls. For this video, we're going to go on and set up our macro security to have all macros enabled. This is potentially dangerous, so use caution when using this option. Because you're going to be using your own source code, and if you want the ease of not having to come back and forth to enable macros, you want to have this option selected. Now, of course, when receiving files from somebody else, make sure they are a reputable source. You probably want to have this option disabled. That way you don't get any kind of source code that can harm your computer. We, all are, we are also going to have the trust access to the VBA project object model selected. That way we can go on and set up a macro using the Visual Basic environment. Go on and select OK when ready. As you can see here, we have a brand new workbook. It is completely blank. We're going to go on and add a ActiveX control in the Developers tab ribbon, go on and select Insert, look for the ActiveX Control section, and go on and select the option that says Command Button ActiveX Control. With this selected, we're going to add that to the workbook. Command Button 1 isn't a user-friendly caption. We, we would want to change that out. Go on and right-click it and select Properties. And for this video, we're just going to go on and put Click Me. Now, as you notice right now, this button is not clickable. If you do click it, you have the option of setting up the properties or resizing it. If you take yourself out of design mode right here, go on and uncheck. Um, we'll select that to turn to put us into, um, into production mode. And now you're able to click it. But of course, right now, we haven't set up any code in it. There is no code to execute. So we're going to go on and put us back into design mode. And to create this simple macro, let's just go on and do this. We're going to use cell D3. Let's just go on and type something in here. This is just a test. Under the click me, since we're in design mode right now, we're going to go on and double click that. It's going to take you to the Visual Basic environment. If you notice, this is command button one. This is where you will be able to put in code for this, co for this command button when it is clicked. Right now, we are in the click option. You can go on and set up other options, which we will discuss in later videos, where you can have double click if there's error or if there's focus on it. Right now we're just going to use the basic click. And we're going to go on and let's go on and do a quick message box for this cell right here, cell D3. Right now we're in sheet 1 and we're going to look at cell D3. Let's go on and do the source code for this. Uh, we're going to do a quick message box, message box. You can do sheets and the name of the sheet, sheet 1 dot range and the range that we're looking at again is going to be D3 now from here you can go on and close the Visual Basic environment if you would like or you can go on and just toggle back to the Microsoft Excel workbook which is what I'm going to do and we're going to take ourselves out of design mode and we're going to go on and select the button now we get a message box with the value that's within um, cell D3 this is just a test if we were to modify that we could just put Test 2. Try running that same macro again using the command button. We're going to go on and select it. And now we have test 2. This is just an example of a very um, simple macro. With macros, I mean, you can, there are countless possibilities that you can um, do in, in Excel using the Visual Basic environment. In later videos, we will discuss other macros. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.